Hey, UGA Sailing, we're covering points of sale today. Let's go. Great, great intro. Okay. You're still You mean all up right here? <laughs> I mean... Points of sale is going to be covering all of the angles that the boat can take to the wind. And we're going to use that information in the future to apply it to race courses and drills and all sorts of things. So this will be the foundation for everything you will do from here on out. Because we're on a whiteboard, we're going to be looking at this from an aerial point of view, but I'll show you a diagram in a little bit that will hopefully make it more 3D and realistic for you. And all of these chop talks, your wind will be the big arrow on the board, usually facing down. So this is our wind. Okay, and here is our boat. If you are looking at a sailboat from the side, you have a mast right here. <laughs> it's a little wiggly. And we will get into this more in parts of the boat in a later video, but for now, this is your mast right here, and this is your boom. And between the mast and the boom, the vertical and the horizontal poles that are here, sits your sail. This is your framework for your sail. Uh, but when you're looking at it from an aerial perspective, all you're going to be seeing is the boom. The boom is going to move horizontally across the boat, so that's what we're going to be looking for in our diagram right here. Okay? Okay, so when our boat is facing dead into the wind, we have wind coming on both sides of the sail here. Imagine the sail is sticking up at you. So when the wind is blowing equally on either side, we get what's called luffing. So your sail is just flapping right there, and you're not moving. This is called in irons, no-go zone. A little ways off from irons is your close hauled position. This is what you'll be using to make distance up into the wind. Um, notice here that your boom is at the corner of your boat away from the wind. So you're hauled in as close as you can be. Your next point of sail is going to be the beam reach. It's about perpendicular to your irons position. Um, this one will not be used as much. You'll not be told often to go on a beam reach somewhere. Um, it's just kind of used as a passing position between close hauled and the next point of sail that we're going to be talking about. Our next point of sail is the broad reach. A little fun fact, a boat is sailing fastest when it's on a broad reach. A boat is running or going downwind when it's facing directly away from the wind, the opposite of irons, and when the sails are out perpendicular and the wind is just pushing from behind. And it hurt when my friends never stood downwind. It's down the irons boat going down. Let's see. All right, so let's talk about where you're going to use these points of sail. So. We, we generally don't want this one if we are actually trying to race and win. Um, slow and steady doesn't win the race here. But if you are trying to come to a stop for tactical reasons, you might go into irons or try some other tactic to stop your boat. Um, close hauled will be used going between each of them to get up the water. Um, your broad reaches are going to be used when you're going from side to side going downwind. You can peel off on this tack or peel off on this tack over here for strategical purposes. Here I have a diagram that um, I drew out to hopefully help you visualize it a little better. Here you can see the sail, sails in our close haul positions are to the corners of the boats. Um, this one's a little hard to see, but this is your beam reach. Here are your broad reaches. And then downwind is perpendicular to the boat. Um, and I put two sails there instead of drawing two boats. Okay, so let's talk about the two different sides of the circle that we have going on here. If you'll notice, all of these sails are on the right side, and this sail is part of this half of the circle, and this sail is part of this half of the circle. So all of the sails over here uh, are on the right side of the boat. If you're looking at a boat from an aerial perspective, you have this side of the boat and this side. That's your port side, and here's your starboard side. Okay, a boat say this slowly. <laughs> a boat is on a starboard tack when the wind is blowing from the starboard side over to the port side and hitting the sail on the port side. So that means that all of these boats on this side of the circle, even though they're on the left side, are going to be on the starboard tack, some form of a starboard tack, because the wind coming from here is blowing across the starboard side and hitting the port side. Say that ten times to yourself and it'll stick. So. 
all of these boats are on the starboard tack. And process of elimination, all the boats on this side of the circle are on port tack. Because the wind is blowing across the port side of their boat and hitting the sails on the starboard side. Okay? I want to make one thing, one thing clear because this gets a little hairy sometimes. Your boat can be on either a port tack or a starboard tack. There is also such thing as the process of tacking. Tacking is a verb. A tack is an adjective to describe your boat. The process of tacking is going from one close hauled on one side to the other close hauled. So it can be going from a port tack close hauled to a starboard tack close hauled or vice versa. But the process is called a tack. In order to get from one side to the other, you will need to put your boat through irons. So you will pass through irons, but you don't want to stay in irons. Okay, so that's all for our points of sale talk. Let me know if you have any questions, text me, put them down in the comments below, um, and I'll see you next time.